What up, family? It's your boy SN TV, man. I did a video about two months ago about um, O Block Rage, man. He got found guilty, right? So, sentencing has come in. If you don't know, I'm here to tell you that Rage got 71 years. The whole situation messed up. His life gone. Takiya Holmes gone. And you didn't even hit the people that you were shooting at. You know what I'm saying? Bogus as hell. Um, this is just another example of what's going to happen, what's going to keep on happening as long as motherfuckers want to play that street card. I hope that I wake up one day and these shorties get the picture. Like, how many people got to die before you? How many people got to go to jail and get 100 years before some of y'all realize, like, bro, that shit is not what's up. It ain't. Here this man is, got 71 years and, and, and a little girl gone. For what? Give me one good reason. For nothing. Because some niggas was selling weed on his block. And he went over there on some Debo shit. Trying to shoot the block up. And look what he ended up getting. Oh, dumb shit. It wasn't about no money. It wasn't about no issues. It wasn't about no, you know, no beef shit. It was just about some, some bullshit. Nothing. Bullshit ain't about nothing. Real talk. All of these are perfect examples of why you should get as far away from these so-called street niggas as possible. Not to mention, when you out here doing bullshit, you the first candidate for a motherfucker to tell on. Soon as one of your guys get caught up in something, a speeding ticket, boom. They gonna throw you up under the bus. Straight up, man. Y'all shorties better get up to it, real talk. It's a lot of money out here to be made, man. And shit, hey, 2024, for you to be walking around broke with a gun, and a, and a motherfucking flag talking about what gang you in and who you sliding for and all this shit, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. You sliding for the guys, but guess what? The guys ain't going to do nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? When you get locked up, the guys ain't going to be there. I keep saying this shit. It is what it is. Another thing. I'm getting tired of these so-called... I don't even know what you want to call these guys because they definitely ain't street niggas. But... They don't like street niggas. And they, they 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 get on here and they criticize street niggas, but at the same time, you ain't never been through shit. You not from that, you not from that. You not from the streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? You not from that. So you can't understand that. So how could you talk down on something that you can't never understand because you ain't never been through? You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna say this name, but this one specific guy, man, he basically got on here criticizing dirt. You know, about uh, Dirk was talking about the situation, basically about like when when Lil Pab got hit. Okay, maybe he was insinuating that. Maybe he wasn't. But there's a couple things that you can do to ultimately disrespect a man. I'm talking about the ultimate disrespect. One of those things is spit on me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit that we can get past, but I can't get past you spitting on me. Like, that's just showing me that you have zero respect for me. You know? It have been plenty of motherfuckers got killed for doing dumb ass shit like that. If you let a motherfucker spit on you, you a hoe. You ain't got no business speaking on nothing gangster. Because them motherfuckers that you talk about pull up on you, man, and, and it'd be a whole different story. You ain't finna say none of that shit that you saying on wax. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get in front of these cameras, man, and y'all just be tweaking. Like, the motherfucker you talking about won't expose the fuck out you, won't embarrass the hell out you if they ever seen you in real life. Like, straight up. Now, I know Lil Durk ain't the toughest motherfucker, but Lil Durk will slap shit out you. Lil Durk will slap the shit out of you, dog. Because you pussy. And it ain't hard to tell. And if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, the motherfucker I'm talking about got thighs like Professor Clump. Real talk. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. I'm talking about Thunder Thigh. The Thighsman Trophy winner. Yes, you, sir. Shut the fuck up sometimes, bro. Don't nobody want to hear that, man. Straight up. If you ain't gangster, you ain't never been in the streets, stay in your own lane, man. You ain't got nothing to do with what be going on, man, in the streets. Like, you ain't got nothing to do with it. Period. Like, straight up. Y'all suburban-ass kids be wanting to be involved in shit so bad until y'all end up involved in something. And then what? Then what you gonna do? You can't you can't stand up for yourself. Y'all motherfuckers run straight to the police. But y'all be on here talking real greasy. Cut that shit out, dog.